and what is F1 equal to Q square by 2A epsilon naught. Now what I do is I'll increase the suppression. Who will increase? Action agent. Now an action agent will increase the suppression to 2D. Now what conditions will arise? It's isolated, so charge will remain as it is. Slowly I'll increase the suppression. So action agent did work, no? For this capacitance so earlier, what was the capacitance of system? F naught A by B. What is the capacitance of this system? This is the first, you write it two. So the second case, capacitance will be F naught A by two D, no? So let's calculate initial energy. U one equal to Q naught square by two C one. This will be F naught final energy Q naught square by 2C2. So Q naught square 2 F naught A by 2D. This is some very important thing. So what you are noticing U2 greater than U1 no? <coughs> from where this energy for capacitor has come. Because what actually happens here, the next agent will pull pull the plates like this. I, I'm just going to hold the plates, I'll slowly pull them. I'll slowly pull them. Other side, the electrostatic force will be acting on it. So slowly from rest to rest, I'll move the plates. Then I increase the separation from D to 2D. So what I got is like the energy in the capacitor got increased from, from where this energy has come. The mechanical work done by extra agent got converted into increase in potential of system. Look at the capacitor. What it is, it is having ability to change the mechanical energy into the electrostatic potential. This is something very important. So now, sir, I'm I'm more energetic. Can you store that mechanic your mechanical energy, your muscle energy? Yes, you can give it to capacitor. This idea is very important. What all I do problems now just revolves around this one. So work done by extra agent. Mechanical work. Let, let me write that mechanical word also. Mechanical work done by extra agent <coughs> in increasing the separation between the plates. Increasing the Tell me where it should go. It will get converted into increase in potential energy of capacitor. Increase in potential energy of capacitor. What energy? Electrostatic potential energy. So here you can straight away write it like this. So in books open they put mod of delta u. U2 minus U1, calculate here. So how much it is should be equal to Q square D by 2A F0. Why that mod I am bringing? Uh, even if the X agent, instead of pulling them apart, let them push them from 2D, let, it, let, let him push it. In that case, he will do what? The potential will go decrease. So where do that energy will go? That energy will be given to the medium. This is a uh, when we go for next week syllabus no dialectic breakdown there you can understand here the medium between the plates <coughs> what happened that energy is utilized to polarize it so I think at this level you don't go for that concept next week we'll focus on that one so time being let's only focus on pulling apart got the idea so this isolated capacitor work the max agent in increasing the separation of the isolated charged capacitor. So why charge will not change? Charge must be conserved, no? You go for conservation of charge. So charge will remain as it is. Positive negative. Charge will be conserved. 